You've got to see you're letting your past trauma cloud your judgment. Before. He's not Wesley. I mean, everything he says and does is right. He's never stepped out of line. I know, but it, like, has that ever occurred to you? Maybe crazy. she's feelings for Greg? But it would explain why she seems to want to break you guys up. But whoever edited this video, I need y'all to do a little bit better. <laughs> I really, really need y'all to do a little bit better because they were talking over one another. It Like, it was obvious that they weren't facetiming each other like it didn't even feel natural mtv y'all got y'all name on this did somebody die nobody th this got through all of the editing mtv please unread suspects please hey guys it's jess welcome back to another video we are doing the next day of ghosted unread we're doing the next day of ghosted y'all remember my fiance tried to gaslight me all day yesterday <laughs> all day yesterday on day one my sister Rhonda saw him out and about gallivanting with some woman and when I asked him about it he was like oh boo I was just getting you the ring that you wanted. That was the jeweler. And so, the like, he sent me a picture of a ring and was like, this cost $5,000, boo. I just, I just wanted to make you happy. The lie detector determined that was a lie because... Bro, what are you even talking about? We the ring, the picture of the ring that he sent to us and said that cost five thousand dollars and he got it for us. We we gave it to the jeweler. We've been emailing the jeweler ourselves and and come to find out that ain't even no ring that she sell. Like she it, he's just lying. Like he's just lying. So who was that woman? We don't know. There's some woman in my phone named Millie who is my my fiance's roommate or friend or something she disrespectful she about to catch a glass upside the head i don't have my glass with me today but she about to catch uh she about to catch a champagne glass right to the noggin right there right there she was she been talking on my phone reckless about how she think my fiance is good in bed and she want to grab onto his shoulders in bed and stuff like i'm about to slap her i'm about to slap her i can't i don't even the levels of disrespect here the levels of disrespect are are just ridiculous it's so ridiculous we really didn't get much accomplished yesterday <laughs> just the fact that greg's a liar my, my fiance greg is a liar he's a liar he's gonna move in with me in a few days I don't remember when, but soon Greg is supposed to be moving in with me. But I listen, this man, <laughs> this man is trash. This man is trash. I just, I, there's no other, I, I don't know what else to say. The man is trash. All right, y'all, let's jump into day two, see what's going on here. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, here's Greg. So he messaged me this morning, said, hey, morning, beautiful. How's my number one girl? I said, I'm okay. Don't feel great, to be honest. He said, not great. I'm moving into your place tomorrow. You should feel ecstatic. Boy, stop. <laughs> Boy, stop. You are a liar. What you talking about? I said, I know. I do promise. I'm just kind of tired. Felt tired and just a bit ill all week. He said, that's not like you. Maybe it's because you finally stopped for a change. I said, maybe. Either that or it was that steak we went for the other night. He said, well, it's the last night in my old place tonight. And then it will be me, you, and Kai. And I'll be able to look after you. I'm so psyched with a fire emoji. I said, me too. He said, the guys are planning a few drinks as a leaving party tonight. I said, cool. Am I invited? <laughs> Your silence means no then. Right. <laughs> He said, think they wanted to just be the three amigos. I said, it's cool. I get the impression Brady and Millie want you all to themselves. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about Millie, so listen. He said, do you mind? I said, no, it's fine. 
You never told me she was so clingy though, LOL, question mark. <laughs> Ain't no question mark with that. He said, what do you mean? I said, she messaged me yesterday saying how she's really gonna miss you. Is there anything I need to worry about? He said, ha, no. Millie is just super friendly. I said, well, she needs to back off my man, right? Before she catch a glass to the dome, you should have put that part in there. She about to catch a champagne glass right here, right here. He put a laughing crying emoji. He said, are we still on for lunch at Franco's? I said, yeah, around 2 p.m. He said, sweet, are you excited to finally get your ring? Yeah. Yeah, I am excited to get my ring. Where is that? Because <laughs> where, where is it? I said, for sure, I can't wait to inspect it. He said, inspect, LOL. I said, yeah, because I'll have to get it insured. He said, I didn't think about that. I said, it's dollars. Maybe we can do that together after lunch. We can take it to a jeweler to get it revalued and insured, right? He said, there's heaps of time for that. Let's just enjoy ourselves. Mm-hmm. I bet you don't want to get it insured because it's a lie. That's why. <laughs> That's why you don't want to get it insured. You got that ring from the swap meet. Stop it. Stop it. And I said, table book for 2 p.m. I'm about to catch this man in a lie, bro. I'm about to catch this man in a lie. Okay, let's go to Rhonda. Remember, I told Rhonda, you're not going to believe this because I emailed the jeweler. And that jeweler said, girl, this ring is from the swap meet. Stop it. Get off my phone playing. Talking about this a Martina Warren ring. Girl, good night. <laughs> good night. So I said, are you awake yet? Why haven't you texted me back already? She said, what's up? I said, I emailed the place where Greg got my ring to ask how much it was and they replied. Rhonda said, oh, hello. You asked them why. I said, because you planted even more seeds in my head. Rhonda, you've been, you been talking about Greg for the past week on the Suggestions channel. That's why. She said, don't blame me, babe. Like I said to you last night, there's obviously a reason you're doing this. What did they say? They said they don't sell the ring in that picture. She said, OMFG, what? I said, yeah. And I did a quick search online and found one that looks very similar to the one he says he got me for like $700. Why would he lie about this? She said, I don't know, but this goes way further than the idea he could be cheating. You said he spent his bonus on this? So if he didn't, then what the hell did he spend that money on? These are good questions. I said, how am I supposed to know? She said, I'm sorry if this upsets you and it's killing me that I have to do this, but you always see the good in people and that's meant you getting burned and taken advantage of. In the space of 24 hours, you've learned he met some chick, he's still on Zing, and now this. How well do you know this man? You're supposed to be moving in with him tomorrow and now all of this? I said, I need to go now, Rhonda, and make breakfast for Kai. She said, don't ignore this. I know you have doubts, but you're just too GD proud to admit them to me. I said, hey, let's say I do have some doubts. What if I just don't want to face them? She said, I get that, but what's the alternative? I said, what if he was ashamed and couldn't afford the real deal? And she said, do you want to be with a man that tricks you like that? Right, level with me. Has anything else happened? Well, he's done something with that money. I said, his roommate Millie is being super flirty with him, but that doesn't explain the money. She said, maybe he gave it to her. I said, what, for a boob job? Rhonda said, meow, Caddy Joni is coming out and I like it. I said, oh, shut up. I hate being mean about people. Rhonda said, are you at work today? I said, thankfully, no. I took the week off to get the flat ready for Greg to move in. Kai couldn't be more excited. And so was I until this happened. She said, I'm sorry, but this isn't just about protecting you. It's about protecting my nephew, too. I said, I thought I was already doing a good job of that. She said, have you spoken to Greg today? I said, yeah, I kind of tested his reaction to getting my ring insured. She said, clever girl, what did he say? I said that he hadn't thought about it. She said, no, he really didn't think any of it through, did he? I said, Rhonda, please, can you stop with the constant digs? She said, okay, fine, sorry. Has Greg moved his stuff in already? I said, some of it. She said, why don't you check it out? <laughs> I said, I can't invade his privacy like that. I'll just tell him I saw my ring online and give him a chance to explain. She said, what, and give him the chance to lie again, you mean? Or the chance to let him know you've been checking up on him? 
I said, don't you mean you've been checking up on him? She said, whatever, just open the boxes, girl, right. I said, no, I can't, that's so wrong. I'm not crossing the line like that. It's completely unforgivable. She said, not as unforgivable as deceiving your fiance, Joni. Stop being a drone all your life and check out his stuff. That guy gave you a fake ring. He ain't give her nothing yet because he ain't even saw her. I said, a drone, really? She said, truth hurts, babe. Now open the box. <laughs> I said, fine, I can't believe I'm doing this. She said, what's in there? I said, just a heap of junk. Hold on. Girl, you ain't even take a good picture. What you mean a heap of junk? We can't even see. That's a blanket. She said, open some more. <laughs> I said, hey God, I feel so bad doing this. Girl, right. Rhonda said, screw your morals, babe. This is why you need to be more like me. Sure, I'm a B word, but sometimes I don't give a F. I said, okay, open a box, open another box. Some questionable Speedos, herbs and spices, some kind of self-help book. She said, WTF. I said, yeah, it's called the Badass Within. God, this feels so wrong. <laughs> she said, what else is there? I said, wait. She said, what? I said, bank statements. Anything strange on them? Well, he said he bought it a few months ago, but I can't see any payments to a jeweler. However, there's a payment for $5,000 to an e-game store. Card payment to e-game store. Yeah, <laughs> that card payment isn't to the e-game store. That card payment, y'all, hold on. Can y'all see that? The card payment is not to the e-game store. The card pay, the $5,000 is for eating bonus. Am I reading that correctly? That's not the wrong line. She reading the wrong line. She reading the wrong line. That's not true. <laughs> okay, whatever. Rhonda said $5,000, wonder what the hell that is. I said, I don't know Rhonda, but your constant questioning is making this 10 times worse. She said, I think what you meant to say is thank you Rhonda for pushing me to look into my sketchy partner because you have great intuition. I said, I'm sorry, this isn't your fault. I need to get my head around this. What would you do in my position? She said, I wouldn't be with him in the first place, Joni, you know that. I told you before you should break up with him. I said, look, I got to go and get Kai breakfast. We'll speak later. And she said, cool. I love you, sis. And I said, thanks. <laughs> I didn't even tell her I love her back, girl. Good Lord. Okay, here's Cleo. Cleo's another one of my bridesmaids. She's my friend. She said, hi, babe. How are you? I said, hey, girl. Yeah, not great, to be honest. She said, how come? I said, long story. She said, well, I always got time for you. You know that. I said, I know you have. She said, how did the talk last night go? I said, Greg realized he forgot his Zine profile and deleted it. I also told him about Wesley. Wesley is my baby daddy, y'all. Turns out he knew because Wes texted him and threatened him to end it with me. She said, oh my God, are you okay? I said, kinda. Greg did everything to reassure me that we can get through whatever Wesley throws at us. She said, that must've put your mind at ease. I said, yeah, it did at the time. Cleo said, is the profile still worrying you? I said it wasn't until I found out something else. She said, what now? I said, can I call you? I could really do with your calm voice right now. And she said, sure thing. Hold on, y'all. Hey. Hey, hey honey, what's happening? You look awful. <laughs> the engagement ring Greg bought me is, well, fake. Fake? I went to the jewelers and they told me they don't even stock that ring. It's fake. But they told me I could find it online for like, a few hundred dollars. Seriously. So I spoke to Rhonda and she told me to look through his stuff to see if I could find anything. What the hell, Joni? You can't invade someone's privacy he like that. Guilty as hell. Yes, you can. I shouldn't have done it and I really regret it. But I just want to meet him and maybe explain why I did it. Was it worth it? What'd you find? His bank statements. And there's a $5,000 payment made to some online app in the last week. He told me he spent $5,000 on her engagement ring. I bet Rhonda's really loving this drama, right? She's definitely not helping. So, what does this mean? It means that he's keeping things from me. And this is where it starts. It'll be Wesley all over again. Yesterday, I thought I knew everything no, about Greg him. There's nothing like this. Nothing could break us apart. But now, I don't know. This fear is getting a hold of me. 
<laughs> Every day, another lie would come out of Wesley's mouth. Taking cash for food and diapers, but he'd come home high. I'd wait and wait, and I'd have no clue where he'd been. Telling myself there would be a reasonable explanation. Fooling myself that he was happy and me and Kai were enough. You know, so I, I want to be happy. <laughs> no, honey, so you, happy. you and Kai are more than enough. But you got to see you're letting your past I trauma cloud your judgment. Before. He's not Wesley. I mean, everything he says and does is right. He's never stepped out of line or made me question him before. <laughs> but there's this voice in the back of my head saying, You're a fool, giving your complete trust to a man you've only known for a year. He forgot to delete his account. Has gotten to be. And Rona has a point. Nothing explains what he spent the money on. Babe, I know it's hard, but you're gonna sabotage your behaviors. <laughs> Listening to Rona is a dangerous game. I know, but it, like, has that ever occurred to you? Maybe crazy. she's feelings for Greg. She hates his guts. Or maybe that's cover- a cover-up. I heard her a while back saying she thought he was hot. <laughs> but it would explain why she seems hot. to want to break you guys up. I wouldn't know if Rhonda wanted Greg. Would you? Look, the best advice I can give you is to try to talk to Greg about the money. You don't know anything until you talk to him. I'm right. Yeah. Okay. I need to give him a chance. It might not be as bad as it seems. Exactly. There you go. Um, sorry. I gotta run to work, though. Okay. No problem. Have a great day, and, um, thanks for calming me down. Anytime, babe. You got this. I'll catch up with you later. (laughs) Who edited this video? (laughs) Like... I, like, I understand. I get it. You know, we in a pandemic, and maybe these people, this was a virtual thing. Like, Cleo recorded her part, and then, what's her face, us, Joni recorded her part separate. But whoever edited this video, I need y'all to do a little bit better. <laughs> I really, really need y'all to do a little bit better, because... They were talking over one another. It like it was obvious that they weren't FaceTiming each other. Like it didn't even feel natural. Unread, please. MTV, y'all got y'all name on this. Did somebody die? Nobody th- this got through all of the editing. This got through like this is the final product. <laughs> y'all, please, please. MTV, please. Unread. Suspects, please. I don't even know what was said. (laughs) I don't even know what was said because I was, they were talking over one another. They were talking over one another. I think at one point they were talking about Rhonda maybe liking Greg, maybe. I don't know. (laughs) I'm over it. Okay. I got some emails. Order confirmation. I wonder what that is. Hold on, y'all. Your order's ready to ship. It can no longer be changed next day before 1 p.m. Wonder what I got. Oh, a GPS tracker. We got me a GPS tracker. Listen, I'm going to find that man. I'm going to catch that man in a lie. You hear me? I don't know what this is. I guess this is the Amazon of the Unread Universe. Okay. And then my package on this way, look. Delivered today between... 1042 and 1242. If this ain't Amazon for real, y'all. Y'all, I ordered something on Amazon at 10 o'clock one morning. And it was on my doorstep at like 1. Like, it was wild. Like, it, it's crazy. I just hit the button. And I was like, oh, it'll be there when I get home from work. It was there at lunchtime. Like, what is going on here? Table reserves. Okay, y'all, remember we having lunch today at two o'clock yeah okay and we going to franco's all right so we got a table reservation let's go to some stories y'all let's go to wesley that's my baby daddy current mood sick of seeing others take what's mine (laughs) 
Okay, Wesley, you ain't gotta be like that, subtweeting me. Here go Greg. Let the haters hate. Their envy isn't a reflection of you. Hashtag Rhonda. Listen, shots fired. You hear me? Here go Rhonda. Some men are born liars, but all women are born fighters. Woo, child. The tea on my timeline this morning.